Anyone who knows me personally would tell you that my actions would indicate I'm an introvert. And if I was being honest, I would agree with them. At the moment, I spend most of my time alone, and to an extent, I enjoy that time, which would put me in the introvert category, according to society. However, I personally don't like to give myself that label, at least not anymore. Not that there's anything wrong with introverts. However, the term introvert means something different to everyone. If you were to look up the definition on Google, it's incredibly disrespectful and misleading. And even if you used a more proper definition like a quiet, reserved, or calm individual, that still doesn't even come close to describing my authentic personality. For example, what if I wanted to try being more outgoing or talkative for a day? Oh yeah, I can't do that because I'm an introvert. You see my point? So yeah, recently I started to contemplate this logic. Why would I limit my personality to a particular word or definition? For me at least, it was a great way for me to escape the possibility of developing my social skills. People think I'm shy, well, it's because I'm an introvert. People think I barely talk, well, it's because I'm an introvert. People think I'm cold, well, they just don't understand introverts. By using the introvert card as an excuse, it was basically a cover-up for me to escape the real issue, and that is that I was just afraid of connecting with people for some reason. I'm not saying all introverts have this issue, but I believe labeling yourself as an introvert can give you limitations to your character that you might not want. Just my personal opinion. To expand upon my point, I want to use the episode Spellbound from Teen Titans as I feel it can open many people's eyes. Raven is a fan favorite character in Teen Titans, not only because she has awesome powers, but because of her quiet, reserved personality. For introverts, this makes her very relatable. It's emphasized in this episode that she loves her alone time, so much so that she locks herself in her room for hours, even days, depending on the mood she's in. She's so private in her work that the other Titans start to wonder if there is something bothering her that she wants to talk about. Raven gives quick, short responses to their questions, but what she doesn't realize is that she kind of comes off as cold. Hey. When we got home, you ran to your room and locked the door. Anything you want to talk about? No. I have journeyed to the Mall of Shopping and discovered the- No. Steak ball! Go away. If there ever was something us introverts need to be more aware of, it's this tendency to lock ourselves away from the rest of the world and block the love that our family or friends try to give to us. Not saying all of us are like that, and I'm not saying I'm an exception to this. It's something that I have struggled with in the past, and still do without realizing at times. It's easy to have the mindset that nobody loves us or nobody understands us, but we rarely ever consider the possibility that maybe we're not noticing or being open to the love that is already given to us. What I like about this episode is that it doesn't favor one side over another. Sure, there are people who judge and are unfair to introverts, like Beast Boy is in this scene. Why can't you just have fun like normal people? Why are you always locked in your dark room reading your nasty old books? Why do you have to be so creepy? But there is also the difficult to admit truth in that some of us aren't open to receiving love at all. It becomes a habit to block it whenever it presents itself, and then we wonder why we feel alone and feel miserable. As the story continues, Raven wonders when she will finally find someone who will understand her. I'm not creepy. I'm just different. And I wish there was someone around here who understood that. Suddenly, her book starts talking to her out of nowhere, indicating that it might be alive. Did you just... Speak? Uh-huh. I did. The voice inside the book so happens to be this mummy-like creature. Raven is awed by the compliments this mysterious person gives her, and they officially become great friends. 
At long last, her wish has finally been granted. She finally has someone who understands her, or so it seems, as later on in the episode, we find out that this quote-unquote friend of hers was actually evil all along. And all he was doing was manipulating her to get what he wanted, which was to escape the book and to recover his power for world domination. Raven is hurt by this evil creature taking advantage of her and wishes she would have seen it sooner. Of course, Raven is a badass, so she doesn't let this monster win the battle. After she defeats him, Raven returns to her room, but this time she is met with a pleasant surprise. Beast Boy apologizes not only for what he said in the past, but also for the way Raven's friend from the magic book treated her. As I mentioned earlier in this video, introverts who have feelings of loneliness have trouble seeing the love that is already around them. And Beast Boy makes sure to bring this point to her attention. But that doesn't mean you have to stay locked in your room. You think you're alone, Raven, but you're not. Again, I have nothing against introverts, but in my opinion and from my experience, there is a major limitation that comes from classifying yourself as an introvert. For instance, when I used to do it, I wondered why I always felt lonely, like nobody cared about me, nobody understood me, nobody wanted to be my friend, but then I realized one day that I don't have to think of myself as an introvert. Thinking of myself as an extrovert instead helped me manifest and be more open to making new friends, talking to new people, and appreciating the friends and family that I somewhat neglected in the past. Not saying quality alone time isn't important, but what's more important are the relationships we have with people. And at the end of the day, isn't that what we all want? The people already in our life may not be perfect, but one of the best ways to win in life is to make the most out of what we already have. So embrace your uniqueness, express your weirdness, because being different is a gift, not a curse.